Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel again. As you can see, I'm not in my office here, but I decided to make this quick video because there is an important change to the Arch Linux ISO for July 2020. Until now, during an Arch Linux installation, when you want to connect to the Wi-Fi network, you would type in the command Wi-Fi-menu and it normally would work. However, since the June ISO, the process changed a little bit and since the July ISO, the Wi-Fi-menu command and nestctl are not anymore present in the ISO. So the ArchWiki has been updated on how we can connect to the wireless network during the installation. The Arch Linux Wiki recommends now to use IWCTL, which is exactly what this tutorial is going to go through. It's not difficult, but if you're used to use Wi-Fi-menu, it's definitely something that will confuse you at first. During the installation then, you can still choose of course to install something else like Network Manager, but for the installation of Arch Linux and installing the packages, this new method is definitely the way to go. So this video is just going to be about updating this procedure. I'm not going to do here a full tutorial of installing Arch Linux, but I'm going to show you how you can connect to the wireless network using this new method. So let's get going. So here is a quick update on the installation for Arch Linux with the July ISO. There is a change actually which came on the July ISO and that is actually the Arch Linux ISO removed completely NetCTL and therefore Wi-Fi menu when you're trying to set up Wi-Fi the first time you install Arch Linux. Right now I'm logged in into a machine here via SSH and this is the ISO from where normally I would start the installation of Arch Linux and right now I don't have actually an internet cable connected to the machine so normally I would type in Wi-Fi menu and hit enter and as you can see, the Wi-Fi menu is not anymore found because it was, as I said, removed from the July ISO together with NetCTL. So if you're trying to install Arch Linux right now, how do we actually connect to a wireless network if you don't have an Ethernet cable connected to your computer? Well, the Arch Wiki has been updated regarding to that, and I will, of course, leave the link to the video description below. But we have a new process that we need to go through when we want to connect to a wireless network during the installation. If you want to install Network Manager afterwards, as I usually do, you can definitely do that. And when you restart the machine, you can go to the GUI for connecting to the wireless network with NMTUI. That will work as usual. But during the installation, we need to change the procedure. So let me clean up the terminal. And as the ArchWiki recommends now to connect to a wireless network, we need to use the IWCTL command. So let's type that in. Let's type in IWCTL and hit enter. And we get a prompt here to set up our wireless adapter and the wireless network. So the first thing we need to do, we need to find out the name of our wireless adapter. And to do this, we can type in device list and hit enter. And as you can see here, I have just one device, of course, it's called VLAN0. And I need to mark this because I need to put it in, in the next commands as well. Now, we need to scan the networks available to us. So to do this, we can type in station. And then we put in the device name. So in my case, it's WLAN0. And then scan. And hit enter. Now, in my case, I have already connected this. I just wanted to show you the process so that you can do it when you're trying to install Arch Linux. Right now, the wireless adapter is scanning the networks around. Now, to get the list of networks to connect to, we can type in station, then our device name, so it's WLAN0, and then get dash networks, and hit enter. So, as you can see, right now, I have only one network here. I don't have any other and it does have a password so now basically we can connect to this network by typing in the command station and then the device name so the interface name is wlan0 again and then connect telecom dash five eight three two one eight zero one and if I would hit enter now, I will be requested to enter the password for this network. So because I've already done this, I don't need to do this right now. But if you're installing Arch Linux, definitely go ahead, hit enter. It will ask your password. Once you answer the password and hit enter, you will be connected to your wireless network. Now let me clean up this command here. Once you enter the password, what you can do, you can type in, in here exit to exit the prompt for the wireless connection. And we are back to the root ISO. Now we can type in IP space A. 
And as you can see, in my case here, I have an IP ending with 151, and we can proceed basically with the installation and downloading our packages. So this is a very quick update on the July ISO for Arch Linux. If you're trying to install following one of my previous tutorials, just make sure that you change this procedure since it has changed with the July ISO of Arch Linux. The rest of the tutorials are still valid, and then you can choose to install the desktop environment or the window manager of your choice. Anyway, I will leave the link to this in the video description below to both the Arch installation wiki and also the IWCTL command wiki so that you can research also for yourself if there are other options needed for your network. There you go guys, this is how you can connect to the wireless network with the July 2020 ISO of Arch Linux. As you can see, the process is not difficult, but as I said before, if you're used to use Wi-Fi dash menu, this might be a little bit confusing at first. However, the IWCTI command is quite straightforward and you just need this when you are installing Arch Linux for the first time. I will leave, of course, a link to the Arch Wiki in the video description below and I will also leave a link in the video description about the IWCTI command, which you can also find on the Arch Wiki and it might be useful for you to research a little bit these pages and see what's new and there might be some options which you might need for your network. I hope you liked the video guys, if you did, please hit the like button below and sub to the channel if you haven't already, subs always helps us out. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by visiting our Patreon website or you can donate via PayPal through our website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video guys and I'll see you very soon in the next one.